Today I want to start a two or three day series of tips for keeping school in its proper place. And this is from an old teaching home magazine that I read years ago in my early homeschooling days that really guided me and helped me form my philosophy and goals of homeschooling. So I'm going to be sharing little bits of that over the next few days so that neither none of these will be too long. It says that we should all attempt to approach the education of our children with an open mind. By that I mean, let's let go of the preconceived ideas of what schooling should be. Pretend there are no such things as institutionalized education or typical courses of study. Start with a blank slate. Here are our children. Now, as godly parents, how and what are we to teach them? I read once in a dictionary that the word school came from the Greek word meaning spare time. A group of young Greeks who would listen to teachers in their spare time were called a school. This group was eager to learn about science and history. As homeschooling parents, are we spending our precious time teaching and emphasizing those things which should be considered spare time enrichment? I have separated what I concern or consider essential learning from spare time activities and divided learning into three categories, and I will share some of those in my next 